Shalom, brothers and sisters. South African president pledges solidarity with the Palestinians. South African president Cyril Ramaphosa, moron supreme, pledged solidarity of his country with the people of Palestine. We pledge solidarity with the people of Palestine. All of us standing here are pledging our solidarity with the people of Palestine, Ramaphosa said. We stand here because we are deeply concerned about the atrocities unfolding in the Middle East. And we have passed our condolences to the people of Israel as we are passing our condolences to the people of Palestine. The South African president then goes on to lay blame for the current war on the Israeli government for perpetuating a system that has left Palestinians living under occupation for 75 years, describing the Palestinians as a people under occupation who have been waging a struggle against an oppressive government that is occupying their land. Additionally, Ramaphosa details that the Israeli government is charged with apartheid and says the South Africans are a people who have struggled against apartheid. They pledge solidarity with the Palestinians and he additionally called for a two-state solution based on the 1967 borders as a solution to the conflict. He's a really capable little parrot and he doesn't believe a word he says. He doesn't care about people. He himself is perpetuating apartheid in the workplace against the white people in this country. He denies that there are any farm murders, even though farm murders are escalating through the roof in this country. And he does have no problem with his people singing, kill the Boer, kill the farmer, and then murders against white farmers and even black farmers rising through the roof. There is a genocide on the white nation in this country. And we don't talk about it a lot because we get knocked, we get covered, and it gets swept under the rug. It is true though. You've heard this from my own lips. It is taking place as I make this video. And yet, this little man, full of his corruption and evil and stealing money and hiding it in couches and being involved in just about everything and in solidarity with the World Health Organization, with everybody else, the global leaders, with Klaus Schwab, with all of them, sucking up to them and getting his little payouts in his back pocket. He stands with Hamas because his people, his military wing and his ANC believe in those same things. Wipe them out. We don't need them. He's got no problem with that. It is sick and twisted. So realize when you see them say something nice like, oh, the South African president pledges solidarity. No, he's like them in many ways. That is why he relates and he puts on a scarf and he wears it. They've done nothing for speaking to the Jewish consulate here. They've offered no major anything to show them anything. Oh, we said sorry. Moving along. We stand with the Palestinians. What? I am so embarrassed for South Africa. And let me tell you, he does not speak for all South Africans. He speaks for himself and those like him. And even though that's the majority, God still sees who does not stand with him and who stands with Israel. Me and my house stand for the word of God, for Israel and his people, and for what is right. I do not stand with this corrupt, evil agenda. God bless. Shalom.